This Primavera P6 training tutorial demonstrates the use of claim digger. Let's have a definition of claim digger before we proceed. Basically, claim digger is a utility that compares two project plans. That could be a project plan after it's been updated compared to the project plan before it was updated, or it could represent a project plan compared to its baseline. Regardless, Claim Digger compares the two project plans and then creates a report on the differences between them, including items added, items deleted, and any items that were changed. Claim Digger is a separate application outside of Primavera, but you do launch it from within Primavera. In order to launch Claim Digger, you'll go to the Tools menu and you'll select Claim Digger. Claim Digger is now launching. Once Claim Digger is launched, I'll be presented with the main application window. Notice I've got two columns. One column is where I can specify the revised project or projects that I would like to compare. And the second column to the right is where I can specify the original project co to compare to my revised project or the baseline I want to compare to the revised project. Each row on this dialog box represents a comparison of two projects. So I'm first going to select the revised project that I would like to select. And I can see I've got my enterprise project structure. So I will drill down and locate the project that I would like to compare. And over on the right, I will select that same project or a copy of that project before I had any updates to the project. So the project on the left is a revised project after an update. The project on the right is the same project prior to the update. My next step is to identify where I would like to send the report to. My options are to an HTML file, a CSV file, or an ASCII text file. Once I specify where I'd like to send the output to, I then place a path as to where I would like the report to go. I also like to check the box down here in the bottom left, enabling me to view the file whenever it's done. Over here on the right, if I click the button called Advance, I get to specify how, what data I would like to compare. You can see there's data at the overall project level up here at the top, and then down here at the bottom some specific information pertaining to each activity. The report that I can print can either be grouped by subject area or by activity. If I want the report to group by activity, I need to check the box down here at the bottom. The example that I'm going to print, I'm just going to let it compare all of these options. So I'll click OK. So once I specify the projects that I'd like to compare, the report type, the report path, and my advanced comparison options, I can now click Compare. In this instance, I'm printing to a, uh, a form that's already been created. So I'm just going to go ahead and say yes, go ahead and override. So it's now performing its comparison. And when the comparison is done, I'll get to see the preview of the report. This is a sample of the report that might be generated from Claim Digger. You can see it's called Project Differences Report. It shows what two projects were being compared, the user who initiated it, and the date and the time. Over here to the left, I can see the field name that's being evaluated. I can see the activity and the activity name. The next column shows me the data in the revised project, and the column to the right is the data from the original project. So I'm basically seeing those activities that have had a value change. 
In this instance, the first subject area that was evaluated is total float. So I can see all of the activities whose total float has changed from the original project over here on the right to the revised project. And if I just kind of scan through, you can see uh, some of the other subject areas that can be evaluated. I can see any actual labor costs that changed, any remaining labor costs, at completion labor costs. It's actually quite extensive. So just to recap, Claim Digger is a utility. It's launched within P6, but it's actually an outside application. And the purpose of it is to compare two project plans to show you items that have been added, deleted, or changed. Hope this is really helpful to you. Thank you very much.